So I went to go see BAP in Atlanta for the Party Baby US Boom BAP tour. And let's just say that was a trip. <laughs> Hello, hello, hello. This is Ashley and you guys are watching Ashley D Reactions and today I'm here for an experience video. I am literally, I literally just got home. I have no makeup on. None. I am sorry. I have my coffee because I literally need this coffee to sustain my life currently and stay awake, which I still need to do for a bit longer. Um, but I wanted to talk to you about my experience with BAP in Atlanta for the Party Baby Tour. Oh goodness. So it was the first stop on the tour. And let me tell you, as far as the concert goes, great. But before I get into all that and get into the drama, because this was a, a mess of a past couple days. Um, but let's just go ahead and start with Powerhouse. So. This Party Baby Tour is being run by Powerhouse. And let me tell you, Powerhouse, Powerhouse also just did um, BTS's Wings Tour. And guys, I don't like Powerhouse. Powerhouse just, uh, they don't communicate well. They don't give you information that you need. You have to go out and find it yourself. Um, they also are really, really, really rude. Um, I will get into what exactly happened during the high touch and photo op, but let me just say right up front, like they are extremely rude and I felt actually really kind of terrible going through it because of uh, like they literally put hands on me and I, it was, it was very frustrating. Um, because they put hands on me before they even said anything to me. They just started grabbing and like pushing me. So it, I will get into that a little bit more, but let's just start at the beginning. I do have some vlog footage, but for the most part, I'm not going to put it in. Um, I will put some of the fan cam stuff that I have, um, mainly just because it was such a mess on my travel getting to Atlanta that it was, it's. It's, I don't have but very much because I just didn't vlog much. Um, so pretty much um, Wednesday morning at 2 a.m., 2.30 a.m., I got up so I could hit the road by 3 a.m. so I could drive down to Dallas and then, well, up to Dallas, and then from Dallas, I was flying into Atlanta. Except for the night before, Sana, who I was meeting up um, at the concert, um, she's just like, just letting you know, they kind of have tornado watches, and yeah. So I, I get to the airport, there was a delay on my flight, but no delays on any other flight. So I just thought that it was just a delay just on my flight, and it was only by 20 minutes. Not a big deal. I was still going to get in at like 11 in the morning. More than enough time to do what I need to do, and it would be okay. Um, but then my flight gets, we, we get on the plane. All the way, all, we board. <laughs> and then we get told, we're not going. And apparently the flight that was supposed to go out before, they had taxied out and they weren't let, let leave as well. Um, so pretty much anything going to Atlanta, there was a literal ground stop in Atlanta. Nobody went in, nobody went out. Um, and it took hours. So five hours after, so my flight was supposed to leave at eight o'clock. Um, and even with the initial delay, it was supposed to leave by 8.30. Um, and I didn't leave Dallas until it was two o'clock. So it was two o'clock Dallas time. I get into Atlanta because I guess we had a strong tailwind. So this, this worked out in my favor. We finally get on, we get to um, Atlanta and it is 4.45 and then I sit on the freaking tarmac for an hour and a half before I could get off the plane because we had to wait for a gate to get off. So I was just sitting there waiting. 5.45, the show starts at 8. The show starts at 8. In, in the morning, I get a message saying, because I checked, because again, Powerhouse didn't say what the rules were for the bag policy, so I had to check with the venue. And apparently the bag that I brought was too big. So I had to, I couldn't bring it with me directly to the venue. So I had to like go and drop off my bag and then go to the venue, um, which ended up being like a little over an hour long process. <laughs> And I managed to get to the venue approximately 20 minutes before the show starts. 
I may I make it though. I'm able to pick up my merch package. Yes. This is all super tight. I'm super stressed. I'm freaking out on the plane. I was like having panic attacks. I was just, I was, I was losing my mind. Like I was just seeing the money potentially fly away because y'all know if I didn't make it, like Powerhouse wasn't gonna do anything for me. So um, yeah, I finally do get in though. I get my wristbands that I need. Um, well, the red one I got later, I had to put on. This one was specifically for the high touch. The green one is actually the one that was for the photo op. Um, so, but I get in, I get to the show, it was awesome, I got to meet up for Sana for a moment before the show, and then, <sighs> the show, the show made it so worth it, they're just so amazing, um, let me just tell you, seeing Jungkook dance is like, that'll make your life, it really will, like, he's amazing, they're all amazing, Daehyun's vocals, Jungkook is just, ah, Zello is such a ham, I love it, um, Himchan is, Himchan, okay, so Himchan snatched my bias during the show, but y'all, y'all, I'll get to it, I'll get to it. Y'all know that I loved Himchan, notice that loved, like, I, like, hardcore loved Himchan, and I mean, he wasn't my bias, but like, he was like messing me up real bad, um, and he continued to mess me up during the show, but the show was just, it was so good, but it was really short, that's what I will say about the show, because it was um, about an hour and a half and about, actually it was probably more like an hour and 20 minutes when you cut out the DJ opening stuff. Um, and actually probably maybe like an hour and 10 minutes because there was a little bit of time where um, they actually picked the winner um, for the dress up thing. And um, that took some time out, which was really awkward, let me mention, because there was this girl that came up that I guess she thought she was the winner and she wasn't. And like BAP were just like, what is she doing up here? And like, you could tell that they were so confused and like they're, everybody was trying to tell her like, you didn't win, like go. But like, she didn't get it for a while and it was just really, really awkward. Um, but yeah, so they did all that. Um, but when you take that down, that was maybe about an hour and 10 minutes of the regular concert and then maybe a half an hour or so of the encore. So it was like about an hour and a half. It ended up taking up two full hours total when you include everything in. Um, but it just felt, kind of short, just a little bit short. Um, but that's just me. Um, but it was still like an amazing two hours though. So I don't knock it at all, but it just, I was just like, oh man, I wish there was a little bit more. Cause I was going through and thinking about it. They did a lot, a lot of stuff from First Sensibility and Bad Man. Um, and they also did like two songs from Put Them Up, but they only did three songs from Noir and then they only did um, Wake Me Up. So. The three songs they did from Noir, they did, obviously they did Skydive and um, I Guess I Need You, but they also did Fermata, which yes, cause y'all know Fermata is probably my favorite song off Noir. I just love all of Noir, so. But the concert really was just, it was fantastic. It was amazing. I was hype, I was dancing, I was excited the entire time. And that's the kind of feeling that I like to get from a concert and BAP just like exuded that energy and it was just awesome. But after the show, this is this is where things start to continue with the awfulness of the day. Like that, the concert was like a two hour reprieve of a 36 hours of hell kind of thing. Um, so after the show, they go through and they start setting up to do the high touch. Everybody got a bracelet for the high touch if you were in the high touch stuff. And um, pretty much I went over and I was sitting with Sana and talking with Sana and we were waiting for the high touch and they start going through and high touch, I'm used to high touch. I've done high touch a number of times and it's fast. It's always fast, but usually I have a chance to like blurt something out, like say something like before I'm like pushed along. But um, this time I didn't really have much time. I was okay with that. I was kind of like, just in a haze over the fact that I was seeing them. Like Zello is like so tall and lovely and Daehyun is like beautiful. Daehyun is beyond beautiful. The man, that man is so disgustingly beautiful. It's like, ah. Uh. Oh, and um, Jungup is also extremely gorgeous, like extremely gorgeous. Um, so like for the most part, the guys, they were really tired during the high touch, you could tell. 
Um, Zello was still really smiley. Um, Daehyun was really smiley. Jungwop, you could tell he was really tired, but he was also smiling. The rest of the guys, like Youngjae, he was kind of just like, he was, he was tired. He put on a little grin, he was tired. <laughs> Youngguk, he was tired. He was really tired. I just wanted to give him a hug. Himchen threw me the fuck up. Cause so Himchen was at the end of the line and everybody else had their hand up for a normal high five for high touch. But Himchen has his hand out like, like for a handshake. And I'm like, what? And then I, I, I don't even know what I did. I think I grabbed his hand weird. I don't know. But like, it, it just went by really fast. But literally while I was still touching Himchen's hand, like the actual powerhouse person was literally like shoving me away uh, like didn't say anything like go here or there like they, they were pulling me and shoving me away that fast and i'm just like okay like i didn't even take a step away i'm like i had hadn't even taken a full step away i was looking to see where i needed to go they didn't say anything they just shoved just shoved like and e even like even after they shoved me, it was well after they shoved me and started shoving somebody else that they even said anything. I'm like, seriously? Like just, okay. I'm not okay with that. But um, so that is powerhouse trashiness. And literally they almost started shoving me out the wrong way. And they're just like, wait, no, you have the right wristband. So they pushed me over to the side so that I could line up to get the photo op. So we're lining up, waiting to get photo op. The guys, like it was, when I say it was fast, it was, this is the fastest high touch I have ever seen happen. It was done in minutes. Like everybody that was in there, done in minutes. Um, it, it, well, probably because you literally had zero, zero time because they were shoving you up so hard and so fast. Um, but next up was the photos. Um, I think I was like the third photo that they took. Um, and so with the photos, I wanted to go, so Him Chan and Young Gok were standing right next to each other. I wanted to kind of go in between them or between um, Young Gok and Dae Hyun, but I couldn't get there. So I ended up standing just next to Him Chan. So I was just like, of course, I'm gonna say something to Him Chan. I still freaking love Him Chan. Him Chan has, it was just wrecking me so hard during the show. Like I wanted to stand near him too. And so I get near Him Chan and I'm literally still walking up to him. So it's not even like I was in, fully in the spot. And I was just like, are you okay? And like, as soon as, like he just gives this deadpan, like blank, completely blank stare. I mean, I get that he's tired, but like, I swear to God, he hates me. Like he hates me. And I was just like, are you okay? And he's just like, turn, turn. He puts his hand on my shoulder to turn me and then immediately drops it off as soon as I'm turned. And that was it. And I'm just like, oh my God, I feel, Him Chan is pr like, Him Chan hates me. Him Chan hates, like, it was just this serious deadpan look like, I hate, like, but the thing that's worse is that I went to go say something again and he grunted at me. He straight up grunted. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, Him Chan really just grunted at me. He told me turn, turn and grunted at me. And that was it. That was it. Him Chen freaking hates me. Oh my gosh. Um, but so, yeah, not even, a, I wouldn't be surprised if the lady pulling at me, like was sticking her hands in the photo. She pulled me that fast. Like again, didn't say anything to me first, but immediately just started pulling at me, literally grabbed my arm, pulled me and then shoved me away. And I was just like, whoa there, whoa there. Like, why am I getting shoved? Like, why are you not saying anything? It's not like I was standing there lollygagging or anything. I was moving, but I'm already being shoved and pushed. Like, what the hell? Like, it's not like I'm like, I wasn't, I wasn't turning around. I was so distraught over Him Chan's grunt that I wasn't standing there trying to go talk to him again. Like, I was moving, but I'm still getting shoved. And it was just... For 150 bucks to be shoved like that is really trash because I've dealt with, I've, I've seen it done and I've dealt with other groups that other promoting companies that handle high touches and photo ops and they do it much better. 
I'm looking at you, Sub K. Sub K, you are a blessing. Even K-pop me, you are a blessing. Powerhouse is total crap, and it's really frustrating because I paid so much money for that, and everybody paid so much money for that, and I literally got shoved twice. Like, that is not cool. Like, say something to me before you start shoving me. Um, I'm not there to try to make your job harder, and I wasn't I wasn't doing anything, literally not doing anything, yet I got shoved twice. Um, yeah. I'm soft and I can't even like, I can't even yell at people, like, I just get mistreated and I just kind of wallow. But it was really frustrating, but at least I got to meet BAP, and while Him Chan hates me, the other, all the guys are just, they're really great and wonderful, and I like them, and they're s such great performers, and it was such a great show, and I really enjoyed it. Um, the 36 hours of hell though continued because then I had to actually get home and my flight was canceled. Um, my first flight out was canceled. I rebooked. My next flight out was canceled. Um, I waited in line for three hours to get, to get rebooked on a flight. I caught the flight, but the flight was to another airport in Dallas. Instead of DFW, I had to go to Love Field. And then I had to catch a bus, well, a uh, lift from Love Field over to... <laughs> DFW so I could go get my car and then drive another three hours back home, but I'm back home. I have my coffee. I'm going to go see BAP one more time. It's going to be amazing. I'm really excited. I'm going to be doing high touch again. Hopefully this time I will get out to say I love you to Daehyun and um, Youngguk because my biases, my boo-boos, I love them so much. Um, Maybe if you guys can tell me how to say, why do you hate me? I will say that to him, Chan. How do you say that in Korean? Because I want to make it very clear. I want to know, why does he hate me? Like, tell me how to say, why do you hate me in Korean? I'm going to try to look it up, but you should tell me too if you know. Um, but yeah, it was really great. I'm going to go ahead and stick um, the vlog stuff, like the videos and fan cams after this right now, but... I really did enjoy the show. It was so exciting and so much fun. I cannot wait to go see them in Dallas. I hope the high touch is better. Um, for a second, I thought about buying the photo op, but after that experience, I'm not gonna buy it. I there, There's a good chance that I will never buy a powerhouse photo op ever, ever again, um, because it was that, it was really that terrible, but um, yeah. If you guys like this video, please make sure you like it. If you'd like to see more reactions from me, make sure that you subscribe. I'm out.